that is according to the marks which is there in the past examination i have divided these chapters into abc analysis okay depending upon what is the aggregate marks of these chapters in past attempts in past say 4 5 6 7 8 9 attempts i have accumulated all the marks and i have written it on the screen okay so yes first talking about the chapter chat the chapters which are categorized under a category which are the most important chapters of the syllabus guys those chapters are of course without any doubt salary one question of salary is most expected in your examination so one chapter which definitely is very very important is salaries salaries is non negotiable then pgbp and capital gains okay out of pgbp and capital gains i would uh, pin my bet on pgbp more because pgbp is much more important and a question from pgbp will definitely be there okay yes both pgbp and capital gain are very very lengthy chapters but if i give you um, a, a, a sort of a leeway then i will give you a leeway in capital gains you can you know uh, do capital gains in a lesser um, time or you can you know even avoid some of the topics which are there in capital gains but pgbp you have to do completely in a very very well focused manner pgbp will definitely be there in your examination now apart from this the category a chapters are assessment of various persons now this chapter contains a lot of chapters um, uh, accumulation a lot of topics small small topics are there accumulatedly given in this particular chapter which is um, the assessment of various persons guys in this chapter you have amt you have aop boi cooperative society and many other small small topics are there from this particular chapter which is assessment of various persons and yes it is an important um, uh, chapter of your syllabus so you need to do it well so if we talk about a category chapters these are the a category chapters and yes i would also like to keep residential status in a category because it will definitely come in your examination so residential status although according to the marks it it is classified as b but i would like to keep it as a because it is almost uh, equally important as uh, you know a uh, category chapters so yes residential status again i would convert it into a category chapter not again talking about b category chapters house property is a b category chapter income from other sources a b category chapter especially income from other sources section 56210 is the most important section from which you can expect the uh, questions set off and carry forward again a b category uh, chapter tds very 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 important tds a b category chapter return and uh, permanent account number pan this is a b category chapter and assessment procedures especially for old syllabus students assessment procedures is definitely an important topic to do so these are the b category chapters sir what is the benefit of uh, you know categorizing these chapters into a b and c guys the benefit is that the course is so vast for all of these uh, chapters and all of these um, uh, you know the entire syllabus the course is so vast that you know it is not possible to do the entire chapter uh, for you the entire course covering the entire course revising the entire course it's absolutely not possible so you need to have this abc analysis in mind so that you can uh, pay more attention or you know do those chapters which are a and b in a more um, prominent manner as compared to the other chapters that is why abc analysis is done and you can actually uh, you know uh, focus on a and b chapters first and yes even if you leave the c category chapters during your revision that's also okay or just quickly go through the c category chapters okay